Hi everyone, this is Beginner Music Theory, lesson number seven. We're going to talk a little bit more about tying signatures and specifically about the idea of a meter, which has to do with how many beats there is in a bar and how we can break or divide each beat into uh, smaller units. So to learn about this, we're gonna use musictheory.net and we're gonna use the lesson that's called the simple and compound meter. So let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, so when we talk about a meter, we're really talking once again about the number of beats in a measure and also about how many shorter units we can uh, break up each beat into. Uh, this idea is called subdivision and we're gonna, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this as we go through this lesson. Uh, we talk about the idea of meter because when we talk about time signatures, we, we time signature isn't just about how much time, how many note values we can fit into a single bar, but rather how we group them together um, changes the feel of the rhythmic feel of that time signature. And the idea of feel is very important because it allows us to kind of group different time signatures together into similar like rhythmic feels which is very important because um, time signature, uh, the idea of time signature and rhythmic value is all about how it feels. Uh, it's not just the concept of like how they fit into a bar, but also how they feel when we perform there. It's very important. So we're gonna start with um, a, s a simple meter and duple, triple, and quadruple. Uh, duple, triple, and quadruple refers to the number of beats in a measure and simple means uh, that each of these beats can be broken into two notes. Uh, let's talk about the details of that. So uh, the first time signature we're gonna talk about is 2-4. 2-4 is called simple duple. Uh, it's called simple duple because duple refers to the fact that there are two beats in each measure. In this case, two, the number on top of the time signature is two uh, no, two and then the number at the bottom, it means quarter note. So two, four is two quarter notes per measure. And in this case also happens to be two beats of quarter notes per bar. Uh, now, this is a simple meter because each one of those quarter notes is then divided or uh, the uh, another a very common term in music is subdividing. Uh, so each one of the each one of these quarter note beats can be subdivided into two eighth notes, and you can see the subdivision at the bottom here. Okay, so if we were to um, if we were to uh, clap or or uh, sing this uh, time signature uh, without subdivision, we would go one, two, one, two, and if we do the subdivision, which is the one at the bottom. We, we would do one and two and one and two and, okay? So, so these are some of the other simple duple meters. Uh, all of these simple duple meters are going to have the number two at the top of the time signature. Um, in this case, two two uh, is two half notes. Uh, and in this particular time signature, the half note also gets the beat and it's two half notes, two beats per bar. The subdivision is at the bottom. Uh, each half note is divided into two quarter notes. Uh, same thing with two eight. Uh, in two eight, we have two eighth notes uh, per, time, uh, per bar. And it also happens that the beat is an eighth note and we get two eighth note beats per bar. And the subdivision is below each eighth note can be divided into two sixteenth notes. In all of these uh, simple duple meters, the feel is going to be the same. Without subdivision is just one, two, one, two. And without subdivision is one and two and one and two and. So it's the same feel, the simple duple gives it the same feel the only thing that changes is this, the number at the bottom of the time signature lets us know what value we're gonna be working with here. So in the case of two four, each beat is a quarter note. In the case of two two, each beat is a half note. In two eight, each beat is an eighth note, okay?
but the number of beats in, uh, in, the, uh, in the meter and the subdivision is the same, okay? All right, let's talk to 3-4 now. 3-4 is called a simple triple because we have three beats per measure and uh, simple means that we subdivide each beat into two. So in this case, 3-4, four, four means that we're working with quarter notes and three means that we have three beats or three three quarter notes in a in a bar. It, in this time signature, it just so happens that we also have three quarter note beats. That's why it's a triple meter. And this is simple feel because each quarter note beat can be broken into two eighth notes. Um, so some other uh, time signatures that are simple triple are three two and three eight. Take a note that. Uh, simple triple always has three at the top of the time signature. In this case, we have three two, uh, which means half note, three half notes we can fit into a time signature. It, it also happens that each beat in three two is a half note and we have three beats. And this is the subdivision below. And three eight, we have three eighth notes per time per bar and also three eighth uh, eight, three eighth note beats and then this is the subdivision down here the feel for this when we were if we were to sing it without subdivision would be one two three one two three if i sing the subdivision while continuing to clap the beat it would be like this one and two and three and one and two and three and. So this feel, this meter is the same for all of these simple triple uh, meters. The only thing that changes is the value of each beat, which is, uh, which you can see by the bottom number in the time signature. Okay, but the feel is the same. And you see you see why meter is important because you can have different time signatures that have the same feel, the same rhythmic feel. Okay, um, so uh, we're gonna move on to 4-4, four, four, which is a simple quadruple. It has four beats per measure and each beat can be divided into two. In this case, 4-4 four, four is four quarter notes and the subdivision is down here, two eighth note per quarter note beat. Um, these are also simple quadruple, uh, the, these time signatures are also simple quadruple meter. And as you can see, they work exactly the same as 4-4, four, four, except we're just changing the value of each beat, okay? But the feel of this would be like this without subdivision, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four with subdivision is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, so we've now covered uh, simple duple, uh, triple duple and quadruple duple. Uh, or I think they, they probably label it the other way, like simple duple, simple triple and simple quadruple. And these are all the time signatures that we covered so far. All right, so let's move on to compound meter. So compound meter is when we have uh, subdivisions of three shorter notes per beat instead of two. So the most common uh, uh, type of compound meter is 6-8. So in 6-8, uh, the, the tricky thing to understand about 6-8 uh, is that you may think that we are simply dealing with six eighth notes or six eighth note beats per bar. But we are actually going to group these eighth notes into um, groups of three. Uh, and in this case, you see that on the left, we have grouped them into groups, two groups of three. But on the right, uh, just for the example, we've grouped them into groups of two each eighth note is a each two eighth notes is a group of two, and we have three pairs. Uh, but if you remember from three four, uh, this is the same thing as having three quarter notes, uh, and then 
broken down into two eighth nodes. So because this grouping of eighth nodes will have the same feel as three, four, we are not gonna use six, eight to symbolize this grouping. I mean, uh, we're not gonna use the time signature of six, eight in this way, because it will have the same meter of, as three, four. It will be the same feel, rhythmic feel as three, four. So we're going to instead use this grouping on the left. Uh, six, eight is always going to be uh, rather than six eighth note beats, we're gonna have two beats of a dotted quarter each. And each one of these dotted quarters is gonna break down into three eighth notes. And that's why this is a compound meter because we're breaking each beat of a dotted quarter into three eighth notes. So this is, you know, like I said, it gets a, a little bit tricky because this is the first time that we've seen a time signature not actually be exactly in line with the beats in a bar. This time signature, six eight, six eighth notes, is not six eighth note beats, is two dotted quarter beats. So the, this right here is already the subdivision in this meter. So this is a very important thing to note uh, because it's different than what we've seen before with the previous time signatures. So if we were to sing this, we would end up with without subdivision, we would go like this, one, two, one, two. And that's this up here. Now with the subdivision, we're gonna end up with one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, two and uh. so you see this this subdivision of three is that compound meter. Um, so any of these time signatures is going to be the co our compound meter, uh, and, and so any time signature with a six on top is going to be a compound duple, and it's always going to be two groups of three in each, in six, two, we're gonna have six half notes, but we're gonna have three half notes be that grouping of three, and then another grouping of three, of, uh, of three half notes. So in this case, actually, each beat is a dotted whole note, or three half notes. In six, four, we have two groups of three quarter notes each, and each one of those three quarter notes is going to be one beat of a dotted half note. So here, it, the beat is a dotted half note, and that breaks down into uh, three quarter notes. So two groups of three, remember that. Um, the same thing for all these time signatures. So let's talk about nine eight. Nine eight works similarly to six eight. It's a compound triple. We're gonna have three beats, of a dotted quarter note and each beat is broken down into three eighth notes, groups of three, subdivision of three. So that's why this meter is compound. Uh, these are some of the other um, time signatures that are also compound triple. And in all of these cases, we're going to have one, two, three, as the uh, meter without subdivision and with subdivision is one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and. So uh, we're gonna talk about compound quadruple now. This is uh, the time signature of 12 eight is an example of this. We're gonna have four beats. Each beat is a dotted quarter note and we're gonna have groupings of three making a compound. So here we have without subdivision, one, two, three, four. And with subdivision is one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and. Uh. And these are some of the other time signatures that are compound quadruple. Uh, in here, all that's changing is uh, the number at the bottom, but the groupings are always gonna be the same. It's gonna be four beats, four groupings of three each, okay? 
And uh, that brings us to the end of the lesson. Uh, I know compound meters can be a little bit tricky and a little bit confusing at first, uh, but just remember uh, how the groupings work and you can always come back to this lesson and practice this more until you get comfortable with uh, the compound meters. All right, see you guys later.